and I am totally obsessed with bags. And as you know, totally obsessed with dogs. So obsessed by dogs, in fact, that my dog family has grown from three to five. Yes, five dogs. I had two dogs with my ex. When my ex and I split, he kept the dogs. Long story. And long story short, those dogs are now with me. I couldn't be happier, even though it's been a bit of an adjustment going from three dogs to five dogs. But I now have Pepita the Frenchie, and then I have Zuka the Labradoodle, who is underneath my feet and a little bit camera shy. Of course, we have Coco. Carmelita, there's Coco right underneath me, and Chalupa here as well. In addition to lots of dogs, I also have lots of boxes. Now these are all from the Real Real, and some of them contain bags, some of them contain clothing. Now the thing about clothing from the Real Real is oftentimes you can return it. So I want to open a bag for you guys, but I also want to know where the clothing is so that I can try the clothing on, and if it's not for me, I can send it back. So I am going to open, I think this is actually a bag. It feels like it has a lot of stuff in it. I really don't know. I'm gonna go with the big one. And if this has a bag, we'll stop there. If it has clothing, I will open the next bag and check out my clothing later. So let's get into this box. I have no idea. Okay. Oh, I forgot I ordered some shoes. So a couple of dresses and a pair of shoes. These I will show you real quick. And here they are, Gucci, Adidas. Those are cute, right? Okay, I'm gonna just slide those on for the rest of this unboxing. Okay, you can see them over here. 10 out of 10, keeping those for sure. I will try on the dresses another time. Okay, now opening this box. I think this is a bag. And let's see, shall we? Let's see together. You see the dust cover in there, not giving it away quite yet. It is either a Dior or a Bottega, but I cannot tell from there. And it is a Bottega bag. I do not have one of these yet. And truth be told, I ordered two which is very much how I roll. I'll be like, oh yeah, I don't use that bag. And then I'll get one. I'm like, oh, I want more. I want more. I want more. So let's see what's inside. I'm excited. Very, very, very excited. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Chalupa <laughs> and Coco, the cute black Balenciaga bag. So this is the black interwoven Jodi bag, J-O-D-I-E. It is one of the, I would say both popular, trendy looks by Bottega, but it also has the signature interwoven leather right here. And what I was looking for was a small enough black bag that I could use going out that wasn't going to feel bulky, but also something small and a little bit casual that I could use during the day. Because sometimes when I'm just running out, I really just want a place to put my phone and maybe my wallet. And I find that a lot of my bags, my either my Speedies or my Dior's, are a little bit bigger and just unnecessary. So I was looking for something smaller, and I think that this is absolutely perfect. Let's show it to you for scale. 
oh yeah, this is so cute. With my new shoes, this bag is super cute. So it's small enough to kind of take the place of a clutch. It doesn't have a shoulder strap. You're not gonna carry a lot in it. You can put it over your wrist though and still have your hands free if you're carrying your monster or maybe you're carrying a dog or whatever it is that you have. But you can dress it up, obviously. You can use this as an evening bag. But because it's sort of like this softer leather, you can also keep it pretty casual as well. So let's see what's going to fit in this to see if it in fact is going to suit my purposes. Chalupa is excited. So first and foremost, my phone, my earbuds. Let's see how much room that takes up in here. Now, to be honest, if this is all that fits in here, I'm okay with that because so often I'm just using my phone to pay for things. And I just want like a little bag to carry it in and be cute rather than just carrying my phone by itself. And as you guys know, I have the big phone. I have a big case. I often have my earbuds attached to it. And this fits perfect. There's room, of course, for a lipstick. That's not going to take up a lot of space. If I wanted to slide my keys in, that would fit. Again, I don't use my keys on a daily basis. I only use my keys if I'm like going out and not going to have my car. The Gucci sunglass case is definitely not going to fit, but I'm going to try something that I don't really generally try when I do a bag is I'm going to put a pair of sunglasses just like in the little Gucci pouch just to keep them from getting scratched. And that fits in there just fine. This is the smallest size that this bag comes in, but it's really exactly the size that I wanted. If I did not have my earbuds attached to this and just had them loose, then obviously everything could maneuver in there a little bit more freely. But you can tell it's going to be hard for you guys to see in here because of the handle. There's extra room in here for sure. It's not overly stuffed. I can certainly slide a credit card in or even a small wallet would fit in there as well. Here is lipstick, phone, keys wallet and this even has sunglasses in it so if I was using it for the daytime that would be great oftentimes when I'm running to the gym in the morning um, I just want to have my phone in there and maybe my sunglasses and just being able to slide this into a cubby or a locker while I'm working out this is going to be great so I do want to compare this for you with one other bag so this is the bag that I wanted to compare it with. Now you can see the size of these are very different. And you know how like you have bags that you go through stages using? And I have been using this one quite a bit. This is a Chanel, very soft leather bowling style bag. And I do really like this, but it's not structured. It's a very soft leather. And so when I don't have a lot of stuff in it, I feel like it can just sort of look kind of like sloppy and misshapen. So I like using this bag when I'm carrying a lot of stuff. It can fit everything that I just named, plus a sweatshirt, plus a whole makeup bag. Like right now I have a makeup bag in it, a phone charger, a key, a purse hook, and a wallet. And this is like, I don't know, 20% full. This holds a lot. and. As I've been using this more, I was thinking like, oh, it'd be great to have a bag of a similar style, of a similar aesthetic, if I didn't want a structured top handle bag, something just a little bit smaller that would go with everything. And that was when I had the brainstorm to get this bag. I'm very, very excited. And as I mentioned, I have another Bottega coming. So I will compare those two when I unbox it. Let me just show you whether or not my wallet will fit in here with everything else that I showed. And it does. In fact, kind of the more you put in it, the more it, it holds its shape. So 
I am definitely a fan of this. I was in Vegas recently and my girlfriend that I went with had a similar bag to this, the bigger size, and I really liked it and she used it day and night. And I like the fact that this is smaller. I tend to have medium sized bags, but as far as a small bag goes, I'm happy with how much this holds. You can dress this up. You can definitely take it to dinner. You can take it out. It's, it's super versatile. In fact, probably one of the most versatile bags that I have. I'll show this to you one more time along with my new shoes, which I am seriously very excited about as well. And Pepita is eating my sneaker. So here's the bag. Again, cute little knot detailing the signature of the Jody bag, as well as the interwoven leather. And two thumbs up on this. I am motivated to unbox my other Bottega for you all and for me, of course. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Thank you for meeting my extended dog family of Chalupa, Carmelita, Coco, Pepita, and Zuka. Although I don't know if Zuka ever made an appearance for you, but stay tuned. He'll become a little bit less camera shy with time. I am obsessed with this bag already. As always, I am obsessed with you, and I am totally obsessed with bags.